tough are these times for you right now? I've had tough times. I think that, uh, <clears throat> you know, you asked me how tough these times are. Um, you know, when people ask me that question, I always think about my dad because, you know, you know, he was on his deathbed, you know, We're talking about playing football and what I love to do. Um, and uh, there's a lot of season left. A lot of season left. A lot of greatness in store. I've done it before, I'm going to do it again. And that's really um, what I think about. You've always had that chip on your shoulder. You're, you're absorbing a lot of the criticism because people are so used to seeing you play at a high level. Is that in some ways motivating you to kind of turn it around? Yeah, I'm motivated not by criticism. I, I, you know, I, th I don't think you get motivated by that. For me, um, I'm always motivated. And I'm always, you know, uh, at this point in my career, I don't necessarily have to be motivated. I'm always there. You know, I think you always want to be great. You always want to, you know, be, be uh, exceptional every time you step on the field and understanding that sometimes that doesn't always happen. Um, but at the same time, you knowing that you're working for that. And I think that, um, <clears throat> you know, for me, you know, I can handle, I can handle it. You know, I'm built for. I'm built for the I'm built for the good times and the tough times, and um, we're gonna come on the other end of it. And what, really, how you get out of it, and how you how as a team, how we continue to keep building and where we're going, what we're doing is focus on today. Nothing else matters. Today has got to be the best day we've had so far, and that would be no matter what our record is, we're five and zero, which we could have had a chance to be that potentially. Um, you know, and and the reality is is that we are where we are right now, and that's that's here on a. Thursday slash Wednesday, and uh, we got to make it special. Are, are you making changes in your process, or have you thought about making significant changes to how things go? In terms of which process? Your process. Like how I how I prepare for a game? Yeah, just just. Absolutely not. No, okay. no. I've been doing it for ten years at a high level. You know, uh, I trust my process. I trust how I prepare. You know, I can't get here any early. I don't know if I could get here early, I I wouldn't have a bed to sleep on at home. Um, you know, so you you. Uh, you know, you, you stay, you work, you work your butt off, you stay focused on the process, you stay focused on what you know, and um, keep believing in that. And at the same time, you know, you're battling through stuff as well physically, you know, so it's all part of it. But, you you know, it's, it's football. And it's what you love to do. And uh, it, it's never supposed to be easy. It's never supposed to be easy. Yeah. Um. I haven't had this particular, in, you know, thing before, but you know, I'll be okay. I'll be ready. What's been the, the biggest or the most challenging aspect of joining a new team in the second chapter of your career? Um, I, you know, I, I think you guys ask me that almost every week. <laughs> they feel like, to be honest with you, I don't think. But um, I, I don't mean that in an offensive way. I just mean like I, I'm trying to think like what's, um, <clears throat> you know, for me, it's it's. Uh, there's not necessarily challenging parts. I think it's just new parts. It's new newness, and it's figuring out you know all the little pieces and puzzles. And you know you're you're trying to you're trying to build a map. You're trying to build you know you're you're, you're a puzzle maker. You're trying to put everything all the pieces together. And uh, and sometimes you have to find and search for that one puzzle piece to 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 finish out what you what you wanted and what you, what you where you're going and where we're going as a team and. Um, we're putting all those puzzle pieces together, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I don't fear obstacles. You know, people, a lot of people think that, you know, you, know, you get tight, you get worried, this and that. I don't worry. I don't, I don't ever worry. I, I think, first of all, I think, I think, you know, I thank God every day that I get to do what I get to do. I, I thank God every day I get to lead such a great group of people, such great men in there, um, this organization and, and everything else. And uh, if anybody's going to come through, I'm going to. I know that. I believe that every day. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, my confidence never wavers. And uh, I'm just going to keep believing in that and, and, uh, and keep trusting the process, keep trusting and, and doing the little things, you know, and, and everything else. And uh, the great things will come. Russ, Marshawn, Marshawn Lynch did an interview yesterday and said he wants to make sure you're not getting too much in your head and not hearing the outside things. How, how do you make sure that, that you don't do that and, and what you heard from Marshawn? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to hear what Marshawn said, but somebody told me earlier that he, he said some good things. And, you know, uh, man, I, Marshawn, man, uh, he's, a, he's a guy that I can always, uh, he's always been amazing, you know, just how, he, how he's gone about things and how he's been such an um, um, amazing competitor, one of the best people I've ever played with, you know, and been in the backfield with, obviously. So um, I've always looked up to him ever since being a young rookie and, you know, he put his arm around me in the back of the bus and we'd talk about, you know, ball and everything else. So, you know, I, you know a guy like that, he's one of the greatest of all time to do it. And so, 
um, you know, the fact that he's always looking out is a positive thing. I think for me, uh, you, you, you just stay focused on the task. Stay focused on your worship. Stay focused on, for me personally, you know, I, you know just stay focused on my worship every day, just being out here, uh, what a gift it is. I think the second thing is, is, is my teammates and just trying to lead the best way possible every day. And the third thing is the process of just, uh, do, you know, always constantly working, always constantly working on the little things every day. And that's what I enjoy. And then everything else will come. I, I've, you know, I've been, I have, you know, it's uh, been tough times before, come out on the other end of it and, you know, going to the playoffs and all those great things. So everything we want is still in front of us. And we got we to gotta play great this week and, and keep going. Could you Mark and Parker, please? Um, actually, this started with, with Melvin's fumble. And I looked a little bit at uh, getting back to neutral. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I think you're I think you're onto something. I think, um, you know, I think with your question about <clears throat> what does it mean to get back to neutral in the midst of tough times, um, I, I, I firmly believe this, and I think this is the same thing in life and same thing, obviously, in sports or whatever it is. Adversity is going to come. Adversity is going to come in our lives, our personal lives, or you know, uh, in, in football and sports and whatever we do, y- y'all's jobs, everything. You know, adversity comes in all different forms and fashions, and and how we how we handle it and how we deal with it and how we actually we can either run from it or run to it and and and, and just keep going. I think for me personally, I think for me, I've always believed in the fact that you know un- understanding that there's a great scripture that I always talk about, but it, it's James one two. It says, "Consider it pure joy when you go through trials and tribulations because of the testing of your faith that builds perseverance." My dad used to always use that word perseverance, and I think that the reality is is that. You have to be able to, you know, you know, overcome the storms and understand that they're going to come. Adversity is going to come, and how you handle it, and how you speak about it, and how you go through it, and how you understand that you're going to get get on the other side of it all. And um, and I've seen that. You know, I went to the, you know, just you see it every day. You know, in different ways from teammates to people. Just we all have stuff and we all have things. And um, and I think that for me personally, I've always understood that. And you know, that's why you know Children's Hospital has always been something you know to me because you see. You know, a young young girl who's nine years old yesterday who's, you know, not going well, you know, and uh, life is, you know, coming to an end, it may possibly, you know, and, you know, everybody, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, when, when everybody's talking about you positively or negatively, whatever it may be, you understand that life is much greater than just what somebody else says about you and what they may think or whatever it may be. And if you, let, you follow the opinions, everything can be like the waves of the sea, going left and going right and up and down. And I've understood that uh, for me personally is just knowing who God calls me to be, uh, what, it, what, it, what, he's, what the opportunity he's given me. What a great opportunity to lead these guys today because, you know, we're, like I said, we're going to come on the other side of it. And the adversity, uh, it builds you. It builds character. It builds perseverance. It builds all that greatness, all that tough stuff. But, uh, you know, people don't necessarily want to go through, and I'm willing to go through it. So I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to the obstacles. I'm looking forward to to coming on the other end of it. Uh, Hackett talked yesterday about or on Tuesday about sort of focusing in on you know using this extended break to go back to where we left off. Yep. Did you get a sense at any point during that stretch that there was something that adjustment needed to be made? And I guess what what is that process over the past few days look like from your perspective? Trying to, try to find things. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, I think I think that you know um, when you think about the first few games, five games, whatever, and the whole season as as you go, and you know, uh, I think a lot of times is what you you can you can overthink so many different little things, and I think at the end of the day, we as players we gotta we gotta do our jobs and and, and make sure we you know uh, do all the little assignments, all the little parts, all the little pieces, make our plays when we can make them. Um, score touchdowns when we get down there. And that's the fun part about getting in the end zone and celebrating together, you know, just find that joy every day, but also understand the little, the little things of the discipline and all that. And I think at the end of the day, um, you know, we've been hurting ourselves, you know, first and second down, we've got to be better. And uh, third downs and third and longs, we, we can't have it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just it's, it's not, not easy to, to do, you know, in this game. Um, and so I think we get, if we can give ourselves a better chance to be successful, the better we'll be. Um, and that's what that's what we're focused on. You know, what what can, what are those, you know, a few plays a game? What are those four or five plays a game that we can, um, 
make those positive plays and not negative plays. And negative may not be necessarily a 15 yard, you know, a 10 yard loss or something in a run or something. It may just be rather than making that a, a zero yard run, making it a three yard run, that, rather than, um, you know, uh, <coughs> a, a, com a completion on first down and, you know, getting it to be, uh, you know, second and five, whatever, the, whatever those are, right? So I think all those examples, um, obviously there's the, the bigger plays, you know, you don't never want to turn the ball over all those situations as well. And then when it comes in the red zone, um, you know, it comes down to making plays. We got to make them, you know, we got to find ways to make them and whether it's running it, throwing it, catching it, um, you know, and, uh, and I think we've had some really good moments, and it's, now it's time to just keep learning each other, keep developing, and and uh, have another have a have a great game this week. And that's really all that matters. Thank you, guys. Broncos country, let's ride. See you guys.